hey guys welcome back to my channel so it's actually a second take and today as always we're going to talk about lolly the fashion sorry for the attire since this is what i wear when i go to sleep it's already 10 p.m here and i'm supposed to go to sleep now because i have work tomorrow but you know what whatever today we're going to talk about talk about lolita releases well i don't know if you could tell from my previous videos but i love Taobao and i love chinese lolita brands and i like to spend hours browsing on Taobao for for new releases new dresses well no matter what dresses blouses shoes i just love everything they make like it's like it's super affordable it's super affordable compared to, to Japanese brands where sometimes you have very good quality stuff sometimes you don't have you have much cheaper things but you know you have to learn about brands about Chinese brands and stuff and and you you, you just learn you just learn little by little and I have to say I wouldn't have been able to survive in Lolita if there weren't Taobao like I can't cough hundreds of dollars every month just for free dresses let's be honest like oh let's be honest Lolita is expensive even the even the the most affordable stuff once they pile up pile up pile up like this and uh, thing well things get expensive real quick so i'm very i'm very grateful for for Taobao you know so today we're going to take a look at my favorite Taobao Taobao Lolita releases from January 2021 and my favorite place to bruise for that kind of stuff is the Facebook page Chinese Lolita updates uh, you know there are hundreds of releases every month and uh, <laughs> so you know it's very practical to have everything already listed uh, in the same place so let's start okay one of the newest Everest L release well it's gonna be released in February and it's this gorgeous 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 JSK I think Yes, it's a JSK and it will come with this beautiful, beautiful bonnet. Oh my god, I love the bonnet and I love Empress L laces because there are so many kinds of laces. It's so extravagant, it's so gorgeous, it's so detailed and I love Empress. Empress is one of my favorite little brands in general i love the bonnet i i i, I just i i fall in love with every single l press l bonnets that i see they are so beautiful well what i don't really like about their their stuff is it's beautiful again and that's just a personal opinion but the skirt always feel too heavy for me like i'm not a big fan of all of the ruffles a little bit of ruffle is okay but sometimes like on this dress there are just so many ruffles and that's i think that's very heavy very tiring to watch but the rest honestly the rest the bodies the big bold the arch the wrist dress so we will have a red wine colorway also a, a sax colorway and that's just a preview we're still waiting for the release the actual release okay so we're moving on small forest okay this is one this is one of my favorite releases from january actually mm, 
The brand is called Small Forest and the set is called Pearl Box and it, it's really it's really pretty it's really princessy a little like it's like you're you're in a fairy tale like it's, I, I really like it you see the skirt here is less extravagant but not but not cheaper it doesn't look cheap at all because look at the lace at the bottom and uh, the voile like overskirt with with all the, the little stalls I think on on the on the overskirt and and the lace well I, I love lace I just love lace and one thing I love about this dress is actually you know I have very broad shoulders okay I have super broad shoulders so I even in Norway fashion fashion I always try to to keep this part here free free clothes free so I even in Lolita fashion I always try to find dresses with you know with square necks and I always try to to keep my, my blouse this neck um, not very low but I just try to free this this part you know so that's one thing I really like yes this that that's the thing I like about um, about this this dress and the blouse that goes with the dress it's they they completely free the they completely free the chest the the upper chest part um, I think that's that look really delicate with with the necklace I really like I really like doing that too when I when I when I cord stuff and that's that's just gorgeous the dress is just it's it's simply white you know with all the detailing with all the little everything about this set is perfect but I don't I just don't like that kind of blouse where where it's super fitted at this part you know I I don't know I have big bones too so I always feel like it's gonna be too tight around around my limbs if anything uh, fits that much but in general, if you like that kind of thing, that's that's perfectly okay. That's just my personal, that's just my personal opinion, my personal uh, taste. That's it doesn't make the the blouse and the dress any less gorgeous. It's uh, I I think it also goes with the scepter, and the scepter is like just ten dollars, I think. Um, yeah, when you when you're used to see babies fifty dollars scepter, you 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 kind of feel you want to jump on the opportunity because well, it's a matching scepter. A lot of people that don't like scepter, but I don't know. I, I feel they're cute. I like scepters. Okay, next. So the name of this brand is. I don't know. Well, I'll just call it Kuro no Kuro. Kuro no Kuro. And the dress is called Lady Selinda. And that's a dress I've seen literally everywhere, all thanks to girlism. Um, yeah, it, it's really pretty. I have to say it's pretty though like the red colorway is the best this is the best this is the this is the best colorway for for this dress I the pink one looks a little too faded like you can't quite see the gold and white details against pink 
but maybe be, maybe it's just because of the pictures the black colorway is very pretty too very i don't know re re renaissance i i have no idea what i'm talking about but the, the red the red colorway is my favorite from this series like it's i think it it feels so royal i i love how it looks I love red too. I love red. I really love red. So maybe that's why. I love the chest part too. That, that's it's a very pretty dress. It's fulu. It's made in fulu, but I'm not a big fan of fulu. But on this dress, it, it works. It's really pretty very classical very classy it doesn't read as much it doesn't read very lolita and you can wear it in more casual ways i think and that's also a big plus about this dress and also it comes with a case i think uh, the accessories are quite meh meh but the dress itself it's it's worth it's worth the the order lady selinda you are so pretty okay next Moon River. the reason why i added this release to to my list is i'm not even a big fan of the dress itself but when I started wearing Lolita, there was that post in Ruffle Chat where they asked people what kind of animals people wanted to see more in prints. And back then, um, I, I don't even know why, I was really into butterfly stuff. And, and it's true, back then butterflies weren't that popular in Lolita. Now we see more and more dresses, mostly Chinese dresses with butterflies. Uh, back then it was still pretty rare i think that's the, the feeling i had um that's why i added this dress to the list because of the butterfly it's literally called the butterfly uh yeah it looks a little bit a little bit old schooly because of the detachable the, the detachable sleeves but it's not that old school, it's just, it's just a sweet dress actually. I love the details on, on the sleeves, I think it's really pretty. And they have these butterflies on, on the collar and I love the KC. The KC is one of my favorite parts in, in this series. Not the headdress, but really, but really the cases. Like it's huge. I love huge cases, and the shape is a little bit different from from what you see every day. Like uh, so far, I think I've only seen two uh, major types of cases, like the huge baby casey, the huge, huge, huge head eating casey and the very small simple small um chinese chinese brand cases but this one is it's different and i like it i like how different it is or at least i'm not used to seeing that kind of case and i like it i like being surprised that's what i like about lolita fashion there's always something there is always something to surprise me but the dress itself, well, I don't know. I kind of like the material. It's a little bit, it's a little bit shiny because it has that kind of voile that's wrapping, that's wrapped around the dress, the whole, the whole dress. But that's fine. I like how shiny it is. It's not very, very, very shiny. It's like muted shiny, if that makes sense. But I like it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the colors anyway. I don't really like that, that kind of pink, purpley pink, grayish pink. I'm not a big fan. And I don't like purple anyway. But 
yeah they're all butterflies so next now we have one of my favorite releases to the astrolabe the astro est astrolabe astrolabe series by the brand susin and i think it's um it's an astronomy print an astronomy or astrology print i actually don't quite see it i i really don't i really can't see the print at all but it looks pretty and i don't even like blue i don't even like blue but it just looks nice it comes with that crown too that kind of yeah that crown i really like the crown i love the headpiece and i love the sleeves i'm not even a big fan of i'm not even a big fan of um kidney sleeves but here it looks that's not that i don't think those are i don't think those are kidney sleeves anyway they are just very flowy and pretty they are flowy and pretty i like it i really like it i wouldn't buy it but i like it i wouldn't buy it but i want to see it worn so on the foil i love i love the foil look though it looks like it looks like a sky a dark sky a milky way it looks it, it really it literally looks like like a starry sky and i love it so it's lady meow the brand lady meow mm, which has made a collaboration release with mr groki and it's called the kick story so i'm gonna show you how, why i added this release to the list i don't even like the dress it's you know i've said something about how much i love extravagant stuff extravagant and fancy stuff and blah, blah, blah. but this one is just a little bit too much like there's so many ruffles just so many ruffles i'm not even a big fan of ruffles but here there are just so many of them and the shimmy sleeves are oh I, I understand the concept okay the concept is a cake okay i get it but the hat is cool though the hat is cool the hat is a cake and when you look at it like that when you look at it at, at it like this it's not even that bad but i don't know the gsk the gsk is salvageable the gsk is salvageable because it doesn't have the the huge ass him sleeves with the ruffles and the ruffle and the ruffles well the gsk is kind of cute the gsk is okay but the op though the op is horrible it's horrible it's just i don't want to see it i don't i don't want to wear it and then i don't want to see it worn by anyone like it's scary it's scary this dress is scary it's scary but i don't, I don't like it I, I oh my god it's scary but i don't hate it right i don't know why uh, I hate it, but I don't hate it, you know, it's a very complicated, I'm very conflicted about this dress, like, I hate it, but I don't hate it at the same time. Uh, okay, uh, I, I don't want to look at it anymore, I, I, I'm, I'm moved. Okay, our next dress is something by PSMFM, PSMFM, Firefly, and I think it is my favorite release from January. And I don't even like green, but these dresses are so beautiful. I, I think you can't, you can't quite see it, but the print on the skirt is like 
those pre-Raphaelites um, painting it really reminds me of that and the shape of the dress looks like uh, antique Greece antique Greece uh, I don't know I, I really like how it looks like how the sleeves are glittering and I don't I don't like green but I like when 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 colors are harmonized when they're harmonized in a good and uh, in a good and comfy way if that makes sense like everything the, the colors they make sense you know they make sense like green is the color of leaves of grass you know so you can't you can't just delete leaves and grass and grass from from everything so i think it's more natural when when the green comes naturally in the print i'm not against it and here it's just gorgeous i love the sleeves i think the sleeves are detachable yes like this with the with the super long hair that really reminds me of of the prayer of Firelight paintings yeah yeah even even with short hair but as long as it's not too lowly dyesque hair i really like it when when they called it that way like I just love this dress. You know, I love this dress. It's not hard to cord. You can wear it casually. You can wear it like um, more fancy. Is that a word? I'm a big fan of how the overskirt above it gives like a mountain. It feels like it breaks the, the harmony of the dress. Like the dress is perfect as it is. Maybe you can add, I don't know, um, an, over, an overskirt and not an entire overdress on top of it. I just love it. It's so pretty. It's pretty. It's a super pretty dress and I want it. But the problem is I do not want to wear it because it's green and I don't wear green. I don't like green. Yes, this, this cord is maybe my favorite. Well, um... Yeah, the blouse make it makes it look kind of peasant-y and the shoes look a bit old that's a bit old choice I think for for that kind of dress for the theme of the dress but I love the hair I love the super long um, repons, repons hair with that dress it really makes the it really makes the model looks like a like like a like repainting. I really like it. I love. It. Okay, I I'll stop talking about that one dress. Let's move on to another one. Another release by Bittersweet, and this might not be the best release. Maybe not even one of the best release of January. But I, I've ordered the the OP. DOP, 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 DOP. So you're gonna have to see it. And the, um, the series is called Spring by Sandro, Sandro Botticelli. Sandro Botticelli. And I'm. The dresses and the skirt by themselves are pretty basic, okay? They, they're basic, but I love oil painting. I love paintings and I love paintings on Lolita. Uh, that's, that's, one of, that's one of my 2021 resolution to get more dresses with oil paintings, you know, with oil paintings as prints. And actually, I would have I would have loved to have um, an OP exactly like like in the first pic, you know, with the skirt and the the blouse, the, the black blouse with the, the the huge sleeves. That I really I really thought it would be an OP. Unfortunately, it was only an SK. 
Oh, that's okay. I think I can. I think we can pretty much uh, style the OP. We can pretty much style the OP that way. Um, the only problem is it's a bit high waisted, and um, I don't know if you can. Maybe with a corset. With a corset, maybe you can. You can get that shape. You know that slightly lower waisted shape. I think you can make it work. I think I can make it work, okay, with a corset and then um, uh, a big blouse. Plus, it has the the, the, the square neck. The square neck. I um, I don't know. As as I've said, I'm digging that super long skirt look lately. Uh, I don't know. I've watched too many uh, too many Misa, too many of Misako Aoki's videos and. I'm too easily influenced, but I like it. I like it. I love. I love this. I really like. The problem is, I know that. I know that the the pieces, the skirts, the skirt, the dresses are very simple. But I like the print so much that I don't know my. Plus, it's super cheap. Like it's only like fifty dollars. I think fifty, sixty dollars. So yeah, why not? Why not? Next release is by Lucky, Lucky Baby. She's so lucky. She's a star, but she cry, cry, cries in her lonely heart, thinking. The series is called Tata. It's the Tata series, and the reservation will actually start in February, um, on February eighth, and you have. The GSK here, and the GSK is actually my favorite part of 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 the series. It's a very basic, you know, basic country tiered GSK. It it can be open on uh, opened on the front, and it's very basic. It's just a a, a floral print. It's there are nothing extra extravagant, nothing. <laughs> like in the other in the other releases but that's what i like about this series actually it's the simplicity and lately there has been more and more dresses in 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 that cut and i don't hate it i actually love it but i would rather have a full a full skirt but uh, uh, that's okay for a country look. I think it's it's okay. So here we are, of course. The JSK. We have a lacy cardigan with short sleeves. There is a shawl too. I think with, of course, a headdress. And um, there are a bunch of stuff. I well, yeah, yeah, there are a bunch of stuff there. There is I like everything about this series. Everything is so delicate. Like it's delicate. I just I I don't have another word to describe it because I'm dumb. Our next release now is bye 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 dog box. Okay. Yes, dog box and the the the, the series is called Theotokos. Theotokos, I that's Greek. See, is there a pattern? Are we doing Greek stuff now? Is it what's trendy now? Greek stuff? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. So this dress is. It's not it, it's not exactly my type of dress. Like it's gothic. It's it's different. It's definitely gothic. But I'm even if I like old painting prints and that kind of prints in general, I actually don't like religious iconography. Like it remind me of church and i'm done with church i'm so tired of church already if they didn't make the models 
looks so edgy maybe I would have liked it a little bit more but the guns and the black wings and all that stuff it's it's too edgy for me and I, I just don't get it why why the gun why a gun like that's Marianne, the baby Jesus. Why would you hold a gun next to baby Jesus? Like, I'm, I'm not that much into religion and stuff. So isn't that a little bit contradictory? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the dress itself is really pretty. Um, the body sport is made of a charcoal fabric, and I like how it looks. I really like how it looks. I love jacquard fabric in general. Uh, there is, uh, yeah, there's a bustle, there's a bustle at the back, and there is, of course, of course, a uh, gold accent, gold accent everywhere, 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 everywhere. It's, I think, it's a very easy dress to to cord. I think since you have like black gold and a little bit of off-white here and there a little bit of wine here so you know colors that are very easy to find very easy to cord shape of the skirt is well it's it's long it's a line it's there's nothing extravagant about the dress but it's really well made like they it's like they know exactly where to put everything to make everything balanced and and to make and to create that harmony, that harmony, you know, I, that's one thing I really like about, about this dress. It's really well balanced. There aren't that many details like lace and stuff, but what they have is enough. It's a little, more than this would have been too much. And that's what I like about it. Of course, you have to hold it with... <laughs> The, 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 the halo uh, yeah it's nice it's a very nice gothic dress classic gothic and it's pretty the, the print is pretty it's just my personal taste you know but um, I don't hate it I don't hate it but I just don't want to wear it uh, and they say there are two cuts a baby doll cut with a very high waist and um, a normal waist cut but actually the when I look at it at least when I look at the, the, the normal waist one I still think it's quite high it's quite high maybe it's because of the belt they, the belt kind of thing they, they put here and their series is called the the elizabeth sb which is certainly a special edition of a previous release um, miss point stuff are always on point but that's what i don't really like about them it's like everything is too perfect like it's too 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 too, too like boom 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 everything always has to be and that's quite boring you know like just look at the bow just look at the bow the bow at the front of the dress first of all why is it so low why is the bow so low like shouldn't it be here why is it so low here that's that's weird why does everything have to be so perfectly neat and well arranged like I said before, I like fluid things, you know, I like voile, I like things that go, things that look soft and nothing in this dress looks soft to me. I really like the print though because uh, flowers, but the rest is, it looks very heavy. First of all, the dress, the shape of the skirt is very triangle-y. It's uh, one big as triangle. That's already too harsh for me. Uh, then you have the bows. 
there are so many rules and I hate all of them I personally would have ripped off all of these bowls I don't like them I like the colors but I think they they make the dress look heavier too heavy uh, I would have taken off the bow at the front too I would have kept just the dress itself but uh, I think they're using a hoop skirt beneath them I would have I, I'd rather wear an organza pity, you know, just to give a softer shape to the dress. I don't know. I, I have been into the fashion for only two, three years. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's just the kind of feeling the, the dress is giving me. Like, it's too harsh. It's too harsh. Like, it could have been very pretty. It, even 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 styled in a nudity way, it could have been pretty. But why are the details so harsh? Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. Okay. Yeah, another release by El Press, and this I am actually super about this release because it's the first time in my life that I see a black dress by El Press. The dress itself is actually very pretty, it's very witchy. Anyway, the cut is beautiful. There is an overskirt that goes like super long at the back. Um, beautiful it's a beautiful dress the white version is beautiful the black version is beautiful the white version looks like a wedding dress while the black version looks like a witchy dress and both are cool they are cool as heck I love them I just love them you know they're beautiful they, they, they even come with socks which is the first time I see from L press L. But yeah, the problem is the skirt is a little bit too short, so I think you have to wear it with a very short petty or with an underskirt. But I think what makes this dress look so cool is the fact that the skirt is short actually. So I think you can whether wear um for example, if you wear the, the black dress, you can wear the uh, black petticoat and it, so even if it shows, it wouldn't be as obvious as with the white one or just wear a really short, a really short cupcake petticoat. And I think both, both is nice, both, both is nice. I just don't really like the idea of a shown petticoat, but, but apart from that, it's really nice. Okay, we're moving on. Dolls parties, dolls forest. Um, this dress looks so DOP. DOP looks so comfortable. I want to wear it at home and just take a nap in this dress because it looks so comfortable. Plus, the details are so cute. Well, of course, you have like maybe six or seven different shades of of white, but that's fine actually. Like it gives it gives off a really relaxed look. Like I don't really care about it. Um, I'm so confused that the designer didn't didn't really care about it, you know. But it gives a little bit of depth, you know, to, to the dress instead of having just one big solid color everywhere. They have a little bit of darker darker cream here, a little bit of beige here, a little bit of ivory here and there a little. And and that's fine. It's fine for me. At least for me I'm fine with it. And you have of course the chase K, which I love the print on the chase K. It's it's dark and creepy. 
Lovely. The only problem about the JSK is the body spot, the, the print at the body spot, like it's mismatching the print on the skirt, but they maybe 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 it's just for for the one they use for this picture. Maybe they maybe they will um, change how how they will sew the bodies and skirt together. Um but but um I don't think it's it's that terrible like you can maybe you can wear a belt there or a corset because it's really pretty I I I wouldn't mind it I wouldn't mind it plus the print is so pretty the print is really pretty I I love the print you know the little girls with the little toys the little the little dolls, the little toys, the, the teddy bear, and I I like it. I, I really like, I really like the print on this dress. I don't even like black. I don't even like black and white in Lolita. It, it really works. So I'm glad. I'm glad that they made it black and white. Okay, the next release is by tonight, and it's called. Deep Sea Hospital and do you remember what I said about me not liking blue? Well, this is a blue dress, but I like it. I like it because the D.O.P. actually D.O.P. The, the GSK itself is really raw. The GSK looks cheap. It, the GSK really looks cheap. I, I, I don't know how they could fail the GSK that much because the OP is really gorgeous at least on the photos it, it's really gorgeous and I don't, I don't even like blue but, but it's really well made the chest part in particular I really like how they made it that way even if it's even if the color goes quite high I don't really mind it ah oh, there is a butterfly there's a butterfly why would there be a butterfly in in the sea like why but um, you know what uh, I'm not here to question designers choice um, at first I wasn't very convinced about the, um, the voile like overskirt but I don't know it's the way it shines kind of reminds me of of the sea of the surface of the sea so I don't really mind it I don't really mind it that's fine. The print also is... I don't like it. The print is... I don't quite see the print. That's one thing I don't understand about... about uh, Taobao brands, about uh, Chinese Lolita brands in general. I understand that you want to make very nice photos to promote your, your stuff, but could you like take photos of the stuff and not just make the models look good I know they're really pretty they're all cute and yeah I accept that please take better photos of the dress because I have no idea what is in what is in the print right now like I think uh, the blow blows I think they are they these are angels, but I don't think they are really angels because it's supposed to be in the sea. Maybe they are sirens. I think they are sirens, but I'm quite sure I've seen wings somewhere. You know, it's pretty anyway. I think someone will buy this dress and make a review so I can see how it actually looks. But it, it's really pretty and I, I don't even like blue but I think it's really pretty. I really like it. And the last dress I'm going to react to is by Cat Romance and it's called The Past and it's pretty, it's really pretty. It's like the doll's fest, it's like the doll's fest but um no 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 it's um it's it gives it gives more something like more vibe it, it it gives more more vibes i think 
more it's it looks more cottage core than lolita like that's the kind of dress you don't really want to wear with with a petty because you want to be you want to be comfortable completely comfortable in the dress so you don't really want to add anything under under it maybe something on top to keep you warm but nothing nothing too heavy you know like I really, I really like, I really like how you look. I don't think it's a dress, I think it's a skirt actually. Yeah, so there's a skirt and there's an OP. So where's the skirt and where is the OP? Okay, so I think this is the OP and this is the skirt. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I, you know, I just like it. Um, I don't even like beige actually. There are so many colors that I don't like, but but it's done right here. I think at least for me, I think it's done really right. Okay, so this is how we end this video. I'm not sure what did I just do. Was it a react video? Was it a react video? Was it? I don't really know. That that was just me talking about. Out, Florida, I think.